All right, friends, welcome back to Just Biotech. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the infection cycle of coronavirus, that is the SARS-CoV-2 Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. So what happens, this is the whole cycle, infection cycle, how it enters the cells, how it multiplies, and how it uses the host machineries. And finally, the multiple copies of the virus is, you know, released from the cells to infect the other bodies of the cell. So let us start with the first step that is the viral entry. In this step, the coronavirus first attaches or binds to the ACE receptor, that is the angiotensin converting enzyme, two receptor which are present on the pneumocytes. When it binds to the ACE receptor, ACE2 receptor, there is a conformational change in the S glycoprotein of the coronavirus. As a result, there is a cleavage and release of the fragments of S protein by the transmembrane protein that is TMPR SS2 of the host. So the host protease TMPR SS2 is involved in a conformational, in a cleavage and release of the S protein particles of fragments from the coronavirus. And as a result, the virus enters inside the cells through the early and late chromo uh, endosomes. In once inside the cytoplasm, there is uh, another protease, host protease, that is cathepsin L, which further cleaves the S protein at low pH. And there is a fusion of viral envelope with the phospholipid membrane of the endosomes. Once there is that fusion of the endosome and the phospholipid membrane of the endosomes and the viral envelope, the there is a release of viral genome in the cell cytoplasm. So the second step is the release of the viral genome. Once this viral genome is released into the cytoplasm, the positive strand RNA genome is converted into the R negative strand RNA genome, which is used as a template for the mRNA synthesis. The ribosomes of the host, they favor the synthesis and the replication of the viral genome. And they also favor the synthesis of non-structural proteins that forms the replicase transcriptase complex. This replicase transcriptase complex favors the subgenomic transcription of transcription and translation of nucleocapsid, spike, membrane, and envelope protein of the virus. These nucleo, uh, spikes, membrane, and envelope protein of the virus, they then enters, they are inserted into the endoplasmic reticulum, and then they are moved to the Golgi bodies. The, after the replication, the RNA genome of the virus is packaged into the nucleocapsids, which is transported to the Golgi bodies where they combine with the other viral proteins that is S, E, and M. And finally, the matured viral particles are ready to be transported out of the cells inside the, with the help of the Golgi vesicles. Once the virus is packed with the nucleocapsid, the spike protein, the membrane protein, and the envelope proteins. The mature viral viral particles moves to the trans moves to the cell surfaces, and they are released out outside the cells by the process of exocytosis. So this is the entire cycle of the coronavirus once it attacks our pneumocytes. Thanks and please like and share my video if you like it. Thank you very much.